<laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is your international broadcast of KSL. I'm your commentator, Annette. Joining you with... Who's Annette? I don't know. It just seemed like the way to go. I mean, yeah, I'll, I can get behind it. Seriously, we, we weren't even broadcasting and people are having a sook. George, oh, I'm winging up. Uh, where's the stream? They're late. Simmer down, George. Sorry that we're just trying to do everything here, George. George, you're bringing a bad attitude to this game, and I'm not having it. Not, We're not here for it. We're not here and for it. And you know it. who else is not having it? Annette. Annette's not having it. <laughs> She'd hate it. Jeff's Annette. not having it. <laughs> Jeff wouldn't tolerate this. Absolutely not. So um, we are brought to you by the wonderful people at Spark and Data and Electrical, S-P-A-R-K-N.com.au. Uh, they're fantastic people, and they run, they, they put this on every week. They make KSL happen. It's the Condos Social League, Season 3, Round 3, Game 2. This is the Pinheads versus the Shut Up Maitlands. Woo. You're here with me, Figures, and my broadcast partner, Annette. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. A.K.A. Phoebe, Phoebe Melvin hello. slash Phoebe Mel Phoebe Armour. <laughs> Mama? S uh, Armour slash the, um, the second lady of the KSL because you're, the, um, you're the acting commissioner's wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to pick out the China, Nat. Watch your back. No, no, no. You have to pick out the Taiwan. <laughs> oh! None of that. That was a ring off the post. That was a little PJ for anyone who's listening to the first broadcast. PJ? Personal joke. Personal joke. What was the personal joke? About the China. Being oh, the, the first China. lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you want to switch on the computer so we can do some oh, serious business? I, d I didn't even click the, the this. I didn't even click this game. So we are watching the wonder that is the Shut Up Maitlands playing the Pinheads this evening. We've got a few fill-ins for the Shut Up Maitlands, I'll tell you that much. They Would you call them ring in? ring Late entries. Yes, I would call them ring-ins because uh, they have literally been rung in in the last hour. But you know what? There's no I in team. And that's what we're seeing here tonight. Seamless. On any given Se Sunday. Seamless. On any given Tuesday. Oh sorry, Tuesday, yep. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna see some KSL and this is how this is when we come to you. Tuesday nights. Yep. Same time, same channel. Oh good save. Maitland Osborne's already had it thrown at him a few times. We're only a couple of minutes into this for what well, not even a couple of minutes. Moments. A few moments. Oh, pass to the slot to Dave Walters with his uh, Robocop visor. It's a lot, isn't it? It's a bit much, you I, know? If, if you told me that there was a computer inside there telling him what to do, I'd believe you. I'd believe you. I wouldn't say that there's a targeting system based on his shot accuracy, <laughs> but... That was savage. Yeah, yeah, you went right there. I'm a, I'm, I'm a savage kind of man. Rawr. 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 Annette would never say that. Here comes Tommy Teabag speaking of savage rars. Yeah, get it. I don't know what that means either. Right in the bag. I'm just saying things. That That's the majority of what I do. I say things and then try to justify them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, Here comes you're, Robocop. He throws it and it's... It's like a backronym. You know, like when you want a fancy acronym and then you have to work it backwards to make it make sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what that's my what life is. That's what you're doing. Your life is... Uh, yeah, I work backwards all the time. Yeah, it's a metaphorical backronym. Yeah. Here comes Jojo Spinono. He's got the puck. He played in the last game. Jojo says yes, yes, though. Oh, he's we say yes, yes to Jojo's play a lot. He's unstoppable. Oh, good pass backhand. It's a goal! Oh, cool. 99, Mr. McCurdy himself. Yes. Now, yes. weren't, weren't we just saying how 99 was a forbidden number and no one should wear it? There's the horn. Richard's <laughs> left the ice. He's had enough already. Richard Armour is done. Game over, folks. Time yeah. to go home. Jo Wait, did he say Joe Cullen Tristan? What about Malcolm McCurdy? Just write He's it down. We're going to deal with it later. Okay. He's saying, what about Malcolm? Malcolm's in the middle. He got the goal! <laughs> Malcolm got the goal! Malcolm got the goal. <laughs> <laughs> We're having some intense debate here with the uh, officials. I love it. I love it how the goal scorer wasn't even mentioned in, in, the, in that. He was just mentioning the assists and then was working up to the goal scorer. Okay, so who, who did we say was involved in I that one? I don't remember. Okay. Malcolm Listeners, got the goal. If you That's remember. the important thing. Jojo got an assist. He got oh. it. Yeah. 
Now, someone in the comments has requested Annette more often. Annette could come back at any time. Oh, and, and Annette can and will come back when she <laughs> pleases. She is a renegade. Uh, it is He is Tristan. That's Tristan. Oh, good save by Maitland Osborne. Another save by Maitland Osborne. He bought a new helmet today, and I'm not going to say that it is the secret to his oh, success, well. but I think it's the secret to his success. What if you jinxed it? Well... I'm just commenting on what I have seen. I, I'm a, you know. I, I believe in science. If, if if proof comes out that refutes that statement, hell, I'll, I'll go with it. Yeah. Wait, no, that's Malcolm McCurdy. He's 91. Who's 99? Oh, no. You were shouting. Wait, I don't know. No, he was on the ice before when the goal was scored. He, you he were, scored the goal. You were verbally abusing a linesman of your own mistake. Yeah, I know. That's unacceptable. That's what I do. That's why I stopped linesing because I realized I made mistakes. As a human being. You decided uh, to throw him under the bus. I, I just, I, I just, I, I realized that I was fallible as a human being and I was like, I yeah, am. probably not the best place to be if, uh, if I'm making decisions about how a game is played. Braille refereeing. Oh, oh. Ruley, savage. Wow. Wow. Ruley has come in with the hot fire takes. Ruley goes straight for the jugular he, he every time. He does. Really, da, 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 you're da, na, 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 na. Here comes Paige Cameron and Tari Yates. They've Not come, on the ice. They've come They're to meet Annette, the box. Annette. They heard that Annette was here in the broadcast <laughs> booth and they were like, oh, I want to meet this. Annette is a, uh, is a master of commentary in, in Australia and around the world. <laughs> she knows exactly um, she what's knows, happening. She, like, people, people come from far and wide to say hi to Annette. Uh, <gasps> See, there you go, Annette. See, You've had a shout-out. Annette. Annette. <laughs> Annette, Annette's, Annette's been Annette's getting all the shout outs today. <laughs> I can't wait for Annette to come back from I have her smoke. <laughs> I have to remember what Annette's accent was. <laughs> it sounded very much like your podcasting voice. <laughs> it didn't though. No? What's what's your podcast voice, Phoebe? Nah. If you if you if you got put on a podcast. I was on a podcast. All right, all right, all right. I produced a podcast. Right. If anyone wants to listen, nice jeans. It'll I want to talk about off. crypto. What 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 do <laughs> you what, what, how how would you talk about crypto? <laughs> I don't know anything on, on a about podcast, crypto. On a podcast. <laughs> no, I feel like you've got to be a middle-aged white man to talk about crypto on a <laughs> podcast. And I don't think I'm qualified. Sorry. Sorry to let you down. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. Uh, that's, that's fine. You've obviously never heard of yes and when it comes to uh, <laughs> improvisational comedy. That's fine. That's fine. Look, I'm saying, you know, down with the patriarchy. Who's, who's, who's that? 99. Over there. Is that Steve Ward? No. no, that's, um, that's a tall Chris guy. Robinson. Chris Robinson. Christopher Robbins. Ah, so maybe he was the guy that scored the goal. Ooh. Christopher Robbins scored the goal. No? It was Malcolm. It was Malcolm? Good, good. But Chris Robinson was involved, right? Chris Robinson was not involved. Oh, oh <gasps> Tristan a with a snipe of a backhand. <gasps> no, he's not cold dog. Oh, sorry. Annette would never make that mistake. Annette would never make that mistake. She's a professional. Who was? Who was before Tristan? Who was before? Who was before Tristan? Sports and Dave. Yeah. Sports and Dave. Sports and Dave. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I got it. I, I, I pressed the right buttons. You're amazing. Thanks. Here comes Tommy Teabag Blackwell, bringing it in. Gets it around a couple. Here comes... Is that Max Seacom? That's Max Comedy. Look at this. Look yeah. at these comments here. The Savage has savaged himself. Ruley, calling yourself a crusty old pensioner is pretty aggressive. Is he a pensioner? I don't know. We won't take such foul... I thought he was working still. Can you be a pensioner and work? Uh, maybe um, if you're defrauding the government. He was a vet, so he fits the DJ, I don't... I see, 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 this is the thing I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't know enough to comment on it. So, as I, I thought you to be a pensioner, you had to not be working anymore. No, Ruley's just going for the cell you phone. Have you have to be 67, you know. Oh, okay. So it's just an age thing. Once yeah, you reach the age. threshold, yeah, then you get pension. And you can still keep working, but get the pension. Not and only, still, but still get it. But still be a pensioner. Okay. Wow. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Not if only you're interested you in getting the pension, <laughs> and you're over 67 years old. We can't actually give you any official advice, and the word of KSL should not substantiate any financial or, or legal, legal advice. advice whatsoever. 
um, unless you want legal and financial advice that may bankrupt you and <laughs> ruin your life. Ruin your life. Yeah. Um, That's Horvath. In which case, buy crypto. Uh, <laughs> All invest of it. in gold bullion. Oh, that's um, that's probably sage advice, actually. Is it? Is it? I don't know. We, we, we could turn into a fallout situation where instead of gold, we are exchanging bottle caps for currency. I don't know. You don't know. The future no, is don't. untold. Well, I, I truly hope it's not a bottle cap industry. You know, yeah, I'd be economy screwed. Is what I'd be screwed if it was a bottle cap economy. Oh, did that trickle through? It trickled through. Yeah, it did. Did JoJo snake bite? Yeah, Maitland's goal. Did JoJo snake bite him? And by Sorry. snake bite, I mean like... You get the last George touch. Oh! Got a goal? That's not like an alligator arm. We're having some debates here. Uh, with the goal. Joe's got the okay. So Tristan with his second goal. Joey's got the puck once again. Jojo with the assist. Christopher Robin coming out of the 100 acre wood there with a nice shot. Is because he's named Chris Robinson? Yeah. Yeah, Christopher Robin, I like it. Does that work? Yeah, yeah, that works. Cool. Jakey Boy Adamson coming through a couple of Maitlands. Oh, good save there by Hurley. Just stood there. Oh. Put his stick in the way. Oh, wow. Did you see that move by Paulie Sports just now? I didn't because I was looking at Stephen Ward showing up late. Oh, what are you doing, mate? Lackluster. Ten minutes late. Puck's, puck drop is like ten minutes ago, bro. And we were running late, according to George. Sorry, George. So what are you doing, Steve? Who knows? Condos is away and the mice shall play, apparently. Oh, 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 you almost had that one. He got it tangled up in his old skates there, but uh, managed to get it to his stick in time. What a kerfuffle. But, uh, oh, Maitland with a better stop. Ooh. Quite the shot Ooh, cats there. Almost took out Jojo in the uh, midsection there. Aggression. And by the midsection, I don't mean the torso. <laughs> and that is well offside by oh. Jackson Seacom. Someone else who's been to the Jay White School of Diving. I don't think that was an intentional dive. I, I think, think it might was, have been. I think that might have been a, oh, I'm offside. Oh, I can't. Oh, I need to get back onside. Oh, I'm on the ice. Pass to the slot. Any night say. cut that, that away. Any night, one of our younger players. Same with Max Seacom. New additions to each of their teams, their respective teams. And here comes Johnny Pockets still applying pressure to Paulie Sports. Paulie Sports throws it up to Jojo, but Jojo loses it off his stick. Here comes Zara Dennis. Zara Dennis tic-tacking her way through, throws it on Hurley. She tried to get the rebound, but Paulie Sports pushed that away. <coughs> Look at that, he's showboating. Just <coughs> one hand on the stick. Oh, Robocop's at it. Paulie Sports has been known for one hand on the stick at all times. <laughs> You should tune in, Frankie. You should listen to it. You should listen weekly. This is, this is nothing. This is nothing, Frankie. I love it. I love it. Here comes Jakey Boy Adams, and he's got it off the stick of Zara Dennis. Passes it across to Annie Knight, but comes off her stick, and oh, it's turned over. Was that a... Who was that? Who's 36? Horvath. Oh, Steve Horvath. He's taken off the goalie pads. He's oh, wiped wow. himself down a little bit, because those things get hot. Those things are like a... It's like a glass house in, inside goalie uniform. Take your word for or it. Or like a sauna. Carl Dog got stripped to the puck there. That's the second time he's been stripped tonight. <laughs> <laughs> on the Ooh. ice. On the ice, that is. Who let the dogs out? Who? Here's Steve Horvath. He's got absolutely no pressure whatsoever. So he carries the puck. Whoop. Touched over the blue line by uh, Chris Robinson. I think you should leave with Chris Robinson. No, it's Tim Robinson. It's, it's not... No, same. that didn't work. It's not the same. You different, tried. Different person. Chris Robinson again. Christopher Robin himself. I'm going back to your reference. It's yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, Chris Robinson carrying it in. Passes it to the slot. Oh, for, oh, oh. good save. Was that the cull dog that, that got a shot? That was the dog. The dog. Hot dog. Tristan Clements plays it down low. To Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin with the puck. Passes it to Pooh Bear. <laughs> Pooh Bear. Passed it into the slot to the cull dog. But Annie Knight brings it out and happily dumps it so Steve Ward can chase it. But Steve Ward is lazy and he doesn't chase it. Aww. He leaves it for the opposing team to take the puck. Steven, you're trying hard. 
Steven, it's called chip and chase, not chip and let the other team take it. Annie Knight doing the right thing. Steve the Trash Man Ward living up to his name. Oh, and they're battling away in the corner, R. Corner. Robinson in the in the corner, R. They are. Are they? Are they? Are they? Yes, they the are. The corner, R. Uh. The corner. Are they? Yes, they are. No. Here not comes really. Jojo Spinono. He's got pressure from the Trash Man who's decided to start playing hockey. Throws it into the slot. But Better late than never. Stopped by the Trash Man. Better trash late man. than never. Better late than never. Uh, he was late. He was late for Bin Day, but he's here now. He was late to the game. He was late to start playing. But here comes Max Seacom. Throws it to his brother. But Whoop. Tristan Clements strips him of the puck. Zara Dennis tried to plough through him and hit him. Oh, he faked. I don't know what he faked, but he faked <laughs> something. Woo! And Tristan Clements hacks the stick of Jackson Seacom. Jackson Seacom throws it past Jojo Spinozzi. Oh. Tristan Clements throws it up to uh, Malcolm. Malcolm McCurdy. Oh, okay. So, um, egg, right. egg and my face are aligned. While I've been giving shit to Stephen Ward, uh, apparently his laces broke on his first shift and uh, he had to leave the ice. Annette is back and she would like to s extend her formal apologies to Stephen Ward. Uh, how how was your smoke going, it? It was fantastic. Uh, are, you, are you vaping these days? <laughs> yes. Uh, the blueberry pie is my current favorite flavor. Oh, you got the blueberry, not the cherry pie? Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. So here we are. We can see... Is that sports? That is Sports Campbell. He is passing oh, what to a Robocop, pass. and Robocop gets the goal. Thank you, Robocop. Dave from, was that from, from, who was the pass from? Paulie. Paulie Sports. That's his second assist. Jeez. So, uh, pinheads need to pull the pin out of their ass or their head out of their ass um, and actually start scoring some goals because, um, yeah, this is, this is not a good Whoa. start. Pinheads do have five on. Too many. And Liam Gwynn, just instead of calling it, decides to sit up on the bench. Uh, and then Rest skate away. Legs. Cats throws it on. Oh, good save by Hurley. Good leg save. Now, I'm Here not going to lie. I think it's yeah. going to be a struggle for us to get to uh, 10. Oh, I reckon Maitland's might get it. This time. Maitland's might get it. But it's Pinheads, possible. if they keep playing like this, they won't, they won't even get a goal. They they might get they might get the uh, zero one as opposed to the one zero. Ooh, that snuck through a few Maitlands and Hurley had to turn it away with his stick. Do you know what they need? What do they need? A cliche. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they ha they have to get on the same page here, figures. You know, all this gameplay. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. They, need they need to get, to get on, on the same, same page. page. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Maybe they should take a leaf out of the other team's book there, eh? Yeah, there's been a lot of uh, open looks at the basket. And by basket, I mean net. Maybe they need to... Uh, uh, you, 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 it, it just goes to show that the, uh, the old adage that uh, goal, goal, goals are not scored, they are, they're, 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 they're earned. Yeah, it's, it's so true. The, you, you need to put in the work, eh? Just and if you don't put in 110%, you're not going to get it. And like in a in a state of blue sky thinking, I think we all need to acknowledge that defense wins the championships. True, true. That's what my grandmother always said. Oh, uh, George, making some allegations, probably about Chris Cullen, uh, about what he takes his clothes off for, or what he may or may not take his clothes off. I think Chris Cullen would like for. to plead the fifth. I I reckon Chris Cullen would. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Upon fear of incriminating himself, he may just hold silent on that one. Here come the pinheads. Jakey Boy Adamson. Did He's got Fiona Buell in the slot. Passes it to her. Oh, 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 good save by Hurley. I don't think Fiona Buell can believe that he got across for that one. And I can't either. Oh, good move there by Horvath. That's a goal for the Maitlands. They answered the bell. Oh, goalie assist! <laughs> whoop, whoop. Goalie assist, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, we need to really go back and check the footage, eh? And, and just, you know, really take a good hard look at ourselves, eh? I, I think we can really go into a development <coughs> stage, you know? Growth mindset is going to be really important as they travel into the latter parts of this season. Yeah, you know, like pucks on net and puck, pucks in deep. That's 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 how you got to play. That's that's how you got to play. Absolutely. Um, and he right. not had almost had a good one timer opportunity on that last play. That would have been sensational. Would have been sensational. Oh, here comes Cold Dog. Who? But Zara Dennis takes it away, and oh, she gets hacked away by uh, Malcolm McCurdy. Mr. McFlurry himself. Aria McFlurry? Oh, oh, it's loose. It's up. Good save by Maitland Osborne. Nice work, Told you. I told you. It's the ringing in his ears that stopped. I don't know. It smells like gas up here. Yeah. Or burning. Something's burning. Is it the, uh, is it the heater? It was on earlier. But something definitely smells like it's burning up here. For people yeah, who are listening, we are it currently safe. It smells like safe. it's a current burning. It's, yeah. It doesn't sound, sound, smell like a, a residual burning. We are, we are safe. Uh, are if, we? If we feel that we need to escalate this, we will intervene. Uh, but it, oh! Tucked that in. <laughs> Sporty Spice. <laughs> Mel C's at it again. Nice work. Paul Campbell. Who got that? Paul, Paul Campbell. Oh. AKA Melanie C. Why is he Paul Melanie Sp Oh, Sporty Spice. I Sporty get it. Sporty Spice. Come on. Yeah, I get it. Excuse me. I'm just going to sniff around the commentary booth for a tick. That sounds like a really weird thing. Um, I'll, I'll do my best to make some lackluster comments about the play. Uh, some stuff's happening down there on the boards. That appears to be... Teabag himself. It's over there in Ghost Corner or whatever figures called it earlier. I refer to it as Death Corner. I think it's quite dangerous over there. Passing across the ice. Oh, we had a little bit of violence there from uh, Jojo Spinono who ran into someone. Um, oh, oh, they've turned it over. Oh, nope, it's gone back to Mel C. Don't worry, Paul stopped it. Stopped it in its tracks. Oh, it's gone back. To Jojo. Jojo is now passing to someone who I can't see. Jakey Boy Adamson. Nah, it was Tristan. Yeah, no, I can't identify the problem. So, um, yeah, we're just we're just gonna keep going. Maybe it's Annette's vape. Damn it, Annette! I told her she couldn't smoke up in here. <laughs> but what can I say? She's a renegade. She doesn't play by the rules. <laughs> She's a... Uh, She's unstoppable. She's a one man and a renegade cop. <laughs> in a world where hockey won't commentate itself. <laughs> and cliches. <laughs> Must be said to keep you alive. You need Annette Collinson. <laughs> From the makers of... Commentary or death. <laughs> and... Look who's talking now. <laughs> Game From coming to PlayStation 3 soon. Annette Collinson is... <laughs> the commentator. With legs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I... I don't know what I'm... Guys, I'm... Um, I'm having send a... Send help. Send help. We're all having a great time. We're having a great time. Oh, Tommy Blackwell snapshot. Trying to snipe that in there. Oh. oh! 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 Hold that! Oh. Tried to backhand it, and he just went all the way over the top. Nearly dangled him out of his jock. Oh. Oh. Out of his jock strap. Bim, bim, bim! Got him! Meow! <laughs> Dingo and the baby! <laughs> it's too soon. I would be an amazing breakfast. <laughs> Radio person. Oh, oh. Tommy Blackwell. Speaking of breakfast radio hosts, <laughs> Tommy T Bag Blackwell <laughs> and the crazy drive to work. Oh, I, Coming I, to Triple M this week. 
I'd love to listen to that if it was like genuine um, reviews of different teas. <laughs> Here comes cats. <coughs> Today we've got the uh, rose peony blend, and I've steeped it for four minutes at eighty degrees. <laughs> Make sure you you, you got to be at eighty degrees Celsius, otherwise you're in trouble. Oh yeah. Annette would get so confused. Maitland Osborne has no idea what just did, happened did now. Did Coldog just... Is this a goal? What's happening out here? You can't count that. Don't count that. We are too that. busy talking about no. two. Don't, don't no count it. No goal. No, no goal. No goal. No you goal. don't get to decide. No nah, they, they decided. They didn't listen to me. Oh. They can't hear me. Jackson C. He scores! He scores! That was a really good shot by Jackson Seacom. That was a ripper. His brother's come to play, and he was like, you know what, mate? Get wrecked. This is, this is my bloody league, all right? You you got you to gotta <gasps> earn your stripes, pal. Now, players, players, viewers, down in the corner here, is it being captured on camera? Not really. We're having an intense conversation between the two linesmen and some uh, Shut Up Maitland's players. Someone seems to be very aggrieved. Shut, shut Up Maitland's were not happy with that. I don't know why. Are we counting the Cullen goal? Are we counting the Cullen goal? So we are counting Cullen's goal. No, 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 because we didn't do a face-off for that one. Um, we didn't do a face-off. <laughs> this zebra's getting cross. He was just physically violated by <coughs> Joey Spinozo. Spinozo. Spinozzi. Oh, the, acting not the acting commissioner is not happy with my commentary right now. He wants you to pull your damn head in. He wants me to pull my head in. We, and need, I shall. we need Jeff and Annette to come back because they're much ca calmer. Ca calmer. You really have to you have know, the L I in calmer. Ca calmer. Like Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, no. That's dark. It's the same thing. It's just, no, There's sorry, no L not, in Dharma. Yeah, da Dharma. There's no L. Jeffrey Dahmer. There's no L in there. Dharma. Oh, Katz is on it. Katz took a shot. Oh, he's taking another shot. Hurley. With a, some, a couple of good saves from Hurley. Crackers. Here comes Tristan Clement, but the trash man. Trashy. What do you, how do you say trash man in French? Let's, let's. Homme de... <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. That's a good one. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds like it could be like the new Chanel <laughs> fragrance. <laughs> on the refuse. On the refuse by Chanel. Um, the Chanel, the if you happen to be listening, we would like to um, have a have a partnership. Get in touch. Ru really wants to see the uh, zebra brawl happen. I don't think it's far off, really. Yeah. I think uh, there's too many straws on this camel's back, if you know what I mean. <coughs> it's the straw that broke the zebra's back. Yeah. <coughs> Anyone from Chanel listening? I've not seen any comments yet. If this if this was one of those if this was an art house film, yep. This would be the point where like um, y you know, y y you see the main character like cough. Yep. And, and and then it shows like a shot of the of the of the handkerchief and there's like blood in it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then it's signifying that they're gonna die. Well, I mean It's not gonna happen because Jeff, like, it has been a pleasure commentating with you around Jeff. the world all these years. My name's not Jeff. My name's not Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just saying that Jeff Jeff, Jeff was here before and he wouldn't stand for it. I'm not saying that I've got a, a You don't want to be Jeff. I, I don't have a character called Jeff. Who is who's your character? My name is not Jeff. You've got you've got to have a name. End of the first period. Me me me. So that's the end of the first period, and it is a bit of a blowout. We've got the Maitlands on seven. Yeah, just got one minute. Uh, what about Gord? It's a very Canadian name. Gord. Annette and Gord are here. Ruli in the comments saving us un uber French for Garbo, amazing. Yeah, but that's amazing. not that's not going to get us a Chanel crossover, mate. No, no, I I like the refuse. Yeah. What was it? What was it again? Om de refuse. Om de refuse. <laughs> <laughs> By Chanel. Eau de Parfum. 
Because you're worth it. Because, no, that's a different... I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're having some intense conversations. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> yes, that's By the one. Chanel. <laughs> Well, Gord, out here on the ice, we can see some intense conversation happening between Joseph Spinozzi and the two linesmen. What do you think they are discussing out there? Oh, yeah, probably something pretty serious, I reckon. Yeah. Um, you know, they're pretty involved. Yep. Uh, you've, got, you've got a referee one, uh, yeah. uh, acting commissioner, and then you've got referee rave pants. Yeah. And uh, referee rave pants hasn't really had much to say tonight. But uh, I'm looking forward to a big second second period from referee Ray Pants. Back to you in the studio. Fantastic. Well, we are hoping that both teams will give a full 110% this evening as they head towards the beginning of the second period. Anything could happen this evening. So we are brought to you by Spark and Data and Electrical. That's sparkn.com.au for all of your data and electrical needs. If you have anything that you need that's data and electrical, they are the people to talk to. They 100%. are the people to get a sweet quote from. Um, Olympic Ice Skating Centre is where we are coming to you from. Same every week. Um, they're wonderful people. It's a fantastic facility. It's the oldest working... It's the oldest operating ice rink in Melbourne. So is that for real? For real. Check for real. it out. If you want to come down and be a part of history... Come and skate at the Olympic makes, Ice. It makes it sound like people are going to die if they come here. No, I, no, I wasn't implying they're going to be a part of die. history. Do you, do, you, do you know what? One time we were driving past the cemetery and my wife said to me, you know what, Figs? I reckon one day cemeteries are just going to be a thing of the past. And I just lost my shit because <laughs> yeah. that's literally all they are. Yeah. They are literal. Cemeteries are a thing of the past. It's true. It's so true. wise. Yeah. And it just, it, it's every deep. time I drive past the cemetery now, I just think about that. It's and like, it makes me laugh really hard. It's like so deep, it's shallow. It's you not know? even deep. It's, it's not, like so it's, deep, it's shallow. It's, it's six feet, it's, 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 it's six feet down. <laughs> Hold me now. I'm six feet from the edge. Oh, and I'm thinking that maybe six feet ain't so far down. It is. As the second period Stay starts and Liam Gwynn drops the puck beautifully. For the start of the second pe second period, second half, second oh, half. Have a, have a look at these benches, right? We've only got three players on the bench for the Maitlands. Yeah. Yep. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on I, the pinhead. I said at the start this that the is pinhead. Extreme. But this is the thing: they've got legs, but there are no. You wouldn't see that on the. Go oh, Maitlands <laughs> pissed about that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Was well, that the old tea bag? Tea bag gets a gets a uh, dipped it back in again. Oh, good. Oh, there you go. That's interesting for the uh, viewers and listeners. Paulie Sport, Paul, uh, Licorice Paul Sports has changed teams. Yeah. He's oh! We were talking before how you could only play one game at a time, but in fact, if you are Sports Campbell, you can play two. You can play as many games as you want at a time. <laughs> you, the, 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 the limit does not exist. He's here. They're he's there. Here. He's everywhere. Here at, um, no. that I don't know. unstoppable. Oh! oh! There we go. He was just Jakey a little... Jakey Boy Adamson with the one-touch goal. He was a lucky charm. You put sports on the bench, magic happens. That's what they say. Is that Jakey's... No. Yeah. Some people talk about the sports Campbell effect. <laughs> and that was it. Maybe he's born with it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's sports Campbell. <laughs> That's what they say. We're going to get sued by one of these companies one of these days. They're going to be listening in just for lols. And then they'll be like, wait a minute. I've got lawyers that can help me sue these people for this. Hey, look, we are just asking for a partnership with Chanel. We're not, we're not. Oh, Kat's got denied trouble. by Maitland right out in front. And it's true. We, 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 we welcome sponsorships. Oh, oh Max Seacom wanted to join his brother on the scoreboard, but he was denied. Denied. <laughs> Imagine by Maitland Asbon. <laughs> So somebody did stick a rocket up their ass, actually. <laughs> I saw on the bench, somebody had a rocket and was like, you know what, guys? 
everybody, bend over, because I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna stick this up everybody's ass. This is getting quite intense. Everybody's ass. We're gonna get rockets up, and that's how they're winning right this now. This is gonna really damage our chances they also, of working with Chanel. They also painted red on their t-shirts because everyone knows that red makes you go faster. Zoom zoom. Zoom zoom zoom. Can you still? Can you? S- I mean, is that even their song anymore? Do they still do that? That's absolutely not their song anymore. They've moved on. Oh, Jojo <gasps> scores! Block a side on Hurley. Ooh. Maitland's get the goal. Joseph, unstoppable. Yeah. That's his third. No, it's not. It's first goal. <laughs> That's his third point. That's not the same. Jojo from whom? Ah, Cull Dog. <laughs> We've got our skydiving ref right there in the middle. <laughs> He's got his harness ready to go. Jojo from Caldo. Oh, Christopher Robin's back in the Hundred Acre Woods, ready to cause some yeah. trouble. Christopher Robin. Yeah, that's the one. Can you score a goal for me, friend? That that was Kermit the Frog. That was. Kermit that was the not. Frog. We, how do you? How, I don't even know how Winnie the Pooh sounds anymore. You know who would know? I could tell Gordon. you what Eeyore sounds like, though. Oh, that was yeah, good. That was good. That's a good Eeyore, hey. Let's get Eeyore. He sounds commentary. like Stephen Wright. The uh, amazing American comedian. Canadian comedian? I think he's Canadian. You would know, Gord. Oh, oh ripper of a shot from Seekham. Of the uh, Jackson variety. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got four players. That's okay. Who's that? Tristan. Oh, Tristan goes with the... Oh, 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 he got too cocky. That's what happens when you try to Michigan, Tristan. You can't do that. You can't do that. Showboating when you're up Not until Condos gets a Michigan. Can you get a Michigan, all right? Yeah, simmer down. Watch yourself. Oh, I hope he watches that and he cries himself to sleep. Woo, Horvat. But Horvat won't cry himself to sleep after that shot. Whoop, whoop. Whoop whoop! <laughs> yep. Thank you. Christian, if you are listening, we're keen to know if everyone's still okay in the bath. If you're asleep, sweet dreams. More you. crossovers to the bench, please. George, we are not your private broadcasting system. If you want to see more of the bench, then you need to come down here and look at the bench. Okay? Thank you. Th- thanks, Dots. Appreciate it. Appreciate your support. We've got Christine Dutton and Gary Nat and Frankie Palmer up here. Oh, I thought that was going to bounce in off the boards, off Maitland and in. And that would have been an embarrassing goal. Maitland going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. He's like one of the... He's uh, getting a workout. He's getting a full on. Oh, Oh, Tommy Blackwell, the teabag, rips it. But uh, Maitland Osborne was just too good for him. Whoop. Get it, Maitland. Get it. Get it. And here comes Jakey Boy Adamson recovering for the pinheads. He's looking for options. Passes it across ice to the teabag. Teabag gathers it up. Passes it across ice to Buell. Buell bringing Ooh. it in over the blue line. Pass Backhands it to the teabag. But uh, McCurdy got in the way of that one. And Jojo just playing with it. Not really doing much. What's now he decides to carry it up ice. Paul directing traffic. He goes well and truly offside. And Liam Gwynn said, that was super offside, brah. Totes broke. Here comes Paul Sports. Sports. Oh, oh come good on. save. Or did that just go wide? Paulie Sports wide. juggling the puck off his stick. Lifts it up. Goes around. Jojo rips it. Act. I think Is that, it in? That was in. That was in. What a show. Holy shoes. Holy shoes. Holy shoes. Holy shoes. <laughs> Mel C. Wow. What a goal. It, he said it was sports unassisted. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good life lesson. <coughs> You've got to let go to let the other person. Here comes Tristan Clermont. Here comes Paul Sports back the other way now. Paulie Sports, he's got his skates on. He's doing he, some Well, dangles. I hope so. Oh, oh, I almost oh, went through oh, Maylon Oswald's oh, legs. Oh, Word of. They just managed to keep it out. Thank goodness for the defense there. Oh, boy. Mate, oh, Whoop. good save by Hurley. Cull dog, fake to slap. Shot. <laughs> he didn't just go around slapping people. And Tristan Clements. He gets yeah. a bit of a push from Tommy Blackwell. 
Oh, that's three. He's out. Tap down. That's his Tristan. third. That's his third. Richard. 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 That's his third. See, I told you he could hear me. Psychic paged him. What happened to all the hats and the hat tricks, by the way? What happened? We had a bunch of hats, and then I think uh, they actually were deemed a hazardous waste. So well, we had to, we we had to, we we had to, we had to, we had to dispose of them. We had to dispose of them all in a um in a in a uh in a furnace, um and then bury them in a in, in a haunted graveyard. cemetery. Which yeah, in a haunted deep. graveyard in a outside of an old church. And here comes Steve, the trash man ward. He's on his own. Can he get it around Maitland Osborne? He doesn't go around. He goes through. The legs of Maitland Osborne, and that's a Pinhead's goal. Refuse strikes again. Trashman scores a goal, and it's unassisted. Om de Refuse. <coughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm looking forward to oh a uh, nice hot toddy when I get home and a... Uh, Warm bath? Sleep. Yep. That one, too. I just hope the Victorian era ends for you and you <laughs> deal with your <laughs> consumption. I hope the Victorian era ends also. Maybe one day, we'll see. Maybe maybe in the distant future, the Victorian era will end. Oh, and Max Seacom just skates all the way over the puck, plays it back across to his pinhead partner in Michael Katz, who Ooh, had to touch back watch up. Watch out, watch out, Here comes Katz. Zara Dennis playing with it on the blue Ooh. line. Not a good idea. Oh, they're playing Katz soccer. throws it. It went into the skate of the dog. Of the dog. Hot dog. Here comes Robocop. Throws it back down to Tristan Clements. Get it. He yeets it up <laughs> over to the cull dog. He did. Cull dog passes it. Oh, no, Hurley. Oh. No, mate. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, wow. Hurley, mate. You're trying to give me a aneurysm or a hemorrhoid or something. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I don't know. One of the two. <laughs> oh, good shot from Katz. Saved by... I think it. W I think that came off the mask of uh, Maitland yeah, Osborne. I think that was... I reckon he'll be stoked. Oh, Tristan face. Clements and Michael Katz are just oh. battling away in front. And I don't think Katz is too pleased about that. Here's Zara Dennis. Zara Dennis. Oh, Katz is still in the paint. Oh. And he's getting pushed around by Dave Walters now. Joey clears the zone with a skillfully angled puck off the boards. B-grade hockey from sports. Yeah, yeah. He, he is showing some B-grade quality tonight. Here comes Do Max Seacom. B he, for brilliant? Yes. Is this his debut? Is this Max Seacom's debut? No. no, he played last week? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, Jojo. T-Bag was doing oh, what the a goal. most. Beautiful goal, Jojo. Love your work. Mwah, mwah. T-Bag was doing the most to slow that down, but Joey was unstoppable. Thank you. I don't know. Is that the right one? Yeah. No. Nah. Next one up. You, you, guys, you guys know you, you know how a walkie-talkie works, right? No, they don't. You gotta, you gotta let it. You gotta let, you gotta let the button go. You gotta let the button go so that the other person can talk and you can hear them. And then when they've finished talking, uh, that's when you press the button and you can talk. Press the button for half a second before we start talking. We can do a radio etiquette lesson after this, but at the moment it is a nail biter. Is it? Yeah. What's the score? Well, Ten to five. Eleven. That's not a nail biter. Could be. That's not a nail biter. It's a nail biter implies one, maybe two goals. Will they both get Oh, to good goal there by Tommy Teabag Blackwell. Are coming back and they could do it. There's 16 minutes to go. It's a nail Pinheads biter. Are Thank you. Pinheads are coming back. <laughs> All right. You heard it here first from Dutz. I want to know why yours says 11 is that his and second or third? says 10. This is... Yeah, we're so probably wrong. He's got something out of whack. Oh! Oh! Tristan gets stripped by Tommy Blackwell, who keeps it in for the pinheads. 
Pass it across to Jakey Boy Adamson. Went through his legs. But gets it around Tristan Clements easily. Tried to pass it, but... Oh, Jojo Spinozzi got in the way. That one. Jojo Spinono passes a backhand across to Christopher Robinson. What's 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 that what's that what's that um is it uh, what what was the tale the tales of Christopher Robinson Robinson Crusoe Robinson Crusoe that's the one that's the one almost exactly the it was same. almost identical oh Tommy Blackwell with some hands but oh, he he's showing them how to brew an oolong if you know what I mean I don't know what you mean <laughs> I don't know what that means what is an oolong it's how does one tea. brew it a type of tea. Is it? If you listen to his morning show, you'd know. Is it a Darjeeling? Oh, that's a separate thing. That's a completely different thing. I don't know what it means. He Tommy can teach Teabag. him about that. Oh, Tommy Teabag is hooking Tristan Clements. Tristan Clements is getting amongst it. He's fired up. He's looking for blood. He's looking for a pass at the moment, actually. Cull dog. Broken up by Jakey Boy. Jojo Spinozzi in the corner. Oh, one timer in the slot from the Cull Dog. But it's stopped by Hurley. Oh, here he comes. He's starting it up like an Irish breakfast. The tea bag. Oh, yeah, Irish breakfast. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a tea. Yeah. And he's stopped by the coffee plunger that is Malcolm <laughs> McCurdy. Sure. Yeah, 100%. That works. Yeah, Go with yeah it. I'm here for it. Here comes the T-Man himself. We, we, we're going to call him Boston because he holds that many tea parties. <laughs> Zara Dennis throws it on net and Maitland Osborne. He looks around because he thought he had it in his glove, but it bounced off it. Here's Johnny oh. Pockets. Throws it into the slot for Zara Dennis. It's off a couple of bodies and it goes wide. Cull Dog throwing it up. Boston. Oh. oh, the Boston tea party couldn't hold it in. He let that tea... Straight into the harbour. Yeah, he just he just chucked it away. Like it wasn't worth anything. <laughs> Tommy backhands it to Zara Dennis. Zara Dennis plays it across ice, but it gets no further than Steve Horvath. Oh. But that gets no further than the T-Man himself. <laughs> the T-Merchant bringing it in. Throws it on oh. net, but Maitland Osborne's leg stops it. <coughs> oh. Oh. <coughs> I'm, I'm Horvath's on the move. No, he's not actually. Sorry, I'm looking Horvath. forward You're doing to. Great job. I'm looking forward to the um matchup of the um, the wine merchant of Venice, Alex de Bordelli, <laughs> versus the um, the, the 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 tea party of uh tea merchant of uh Tommy Teabag Blackwell. Can't wait. Here's Malcolm McCurdy. It's, he. It's going to be a beverage party. Looked like a sh was a shot, but it wasn't. It was very wide and it had no velocity on it whatsoever. Malcolm no. McCurdy, he's... Oh, no that one had velocity, but too much... Uh, 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 oh! Woo! And Horvath shows him how it's done. Beautiful pass from Cull Dog. Maitland's get a goal. Thank you. It's the Vath. Good work, mate. It was a beauty. It was a beautiful one time. Is that his third? That's his third. Vath, you tapped out. That's his third. That is Horvath's third. That is third. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Pipe down, Gary. Everyone who says that I'm wrong tonight, and then uh, turns out I'm right, just saying it's been a couple of times, okay? Sorry. To be fair, I've been wrong and weird a lot tonight. Do you so. know what you need? What do I need? Do nice, I need some... Nice cup of chamomile. No, no, no. What I need is a nice um That's orange Horvath cinnamon. Ooh. Yeah, nice herbal. Hell yeah. yeah. But chamomile might wind you down. Nah, I don't like the chamomile. It tastes like ass. What about peppermint? Nah. Nah. How do I know what ass tastes like, Frankie? Yeah, Let me explain wait, wait, to you wait, wait. how I know what ass tastes like. Children might be listening. That's quite enough. <laughs> I once ate a jelly belly that was labelled ass. And it tasted like chamomile. So I was like, well, now I obviously don't like chamomile because it tastes like ass. So and there we go. Dave Walters is just cross-checking people. Robocop needs to simmer down. He needs a chamomile too. Bruh, it's, it's not the city of Detroit in the near future. You, crime is not at an all-time high. I mean, it probably is. Who knows? I'm not oh. a... I'm not a, I'm not a 
I'm not a crime doctor. Crime um, doctor. Crime, crime scientist. But I mean... A crime baby? Robocop, you need to chill out. Yeah. You haven't been cybernetically engineered to defend people. And by defend people, I mean shoot violently at criminals. Oh, and yet... That's well and truly offside. And here come the pinheads. They've got numbers. Zara Dennis. Let's do it. Coming into the... Let's She's go. got pressure from Dave Walters, and that's enough. Robo. And there was absolutely no support from any <gasps> of her teammates. Apart but Paulie from... Sports kept it at the line. Let's go. Sarah Dennis. She's got it at the far side boards. She's going to rip it into the slot where Katz is. He oh. goes down. He is the Katz pajamas. Katz? Especially when he wears his Katz pajamas. Does he wear Katz pajamas? Oh, here he comes. Oh, he steals it. Oh. He scores. Paulie Sports Campbell. Paulie Sports Campbell. He gets a bloody goal. And it's beautiful. That was my Paul Sports Campbell goal song. I liked it. <laughs> Hurley unassisted. Hurley unassisted. Good on you, Chris Hurley. Oy, oy. It's going down on the score sheet. You heard what the referee said? That's that's gospel. I thought he said Paulie. No, nah, Hurley. He said Paulie. He said Hurley. He Hurley. definitely said Hurley. Hurley. He said Hurley. He's, uh, Chris Hurley was like, didn't you see? Chris Hurley just scored an amazing goal. He turned it, he forechecked really oh, here hard. Is it. Here comes Hurley again. It's Paulie. Hurley with the goal. He gets another goal. Get out of Chris town. Hurley, you ripper. It's another goalie goal. From Max. Max Seekham passes it to the goalie, Chris Hurley. That's fake news. Yeah, it's fake news, but it's fun. <laughs> Mel C has turned this into the nail biter, I promised. Yeah, well, you it wasn't a nail biter when you said it was a nail biter, but it is now. Yeah, I'm prophetic. <coughs> oh, he's he's winding up to go again. But he can't score again. But that's he's gonna set that's... someone up. That is the beauty Oh, here of comes the T bag. The T bag himself. It's loose. Gets it in the slot. Oh. It's still loose. Not in the goal. Max Seekham trying to get it in to the slot. Or the goal. Doesn't matter. Tries to either one. Oh, good play by Hurley to aggressively come out and challenge the cold dog. <laughs> Paulie Sports throwing it up to Max Seekham. Max Seekham bouncing it up to Jakey Boy Adamson, but it comes straight back to him. And it's turned over to the Maitlands. The Maitlands have the puck. Malcolm McCurdy throwing it down low. Hurley gloves it into the far side corner. Here comes... Paulie Sports. He passed it to Blackwell, but he didn't see it coming. Never mind. First time for everything. Here comes Tommy Teabag. He brings it out. Carries it over the blue line. He's got no real pressure. Just gets around everyone. Tried to go five hole, but it didn't work out. Here come the Maitlands. Cull Dog. <laughs> gets the puck on the far side boards. He's got support there from Jojo and from Horvath. Horvath slaps it up the ice, but he couldn't connect with the stick of Malcolm McCurdy. But it doesn't matter because it looks like McCurdy's going to get there anyway. Rimmed around the boards. McCurdy and J Jackson Seacom playing it along the boards. Turned over in neutral ice by Horvat. Horvat rips it on goal. But Hurley just deflects it up into the netting. Wonder. Jakey Boy Adamson. He's got pressure from McCurdy. McCurdy and Adamson. Adamson, McCurdy. McCurdy's left him alone. And now they're coming back together. And here's Max Seacom. Max Seacom trying to get around Jojo Spinozzi. He does. But the puck rolls away from him. And here comes Robocop. One man, one renegade cop. <laughs> and he just rims it around the boards up to the awaiting Chris Robinson, who gives a uh, nice little, tiny little cross check to Tommy Teabag. Jojo, happy to send it the length of the ice as we approach the 6.40 mark of this second period. For those of you that are just tuning in for the first time, George says that's what she said. Sure. Sure. I'm sure it was hilarious at the time. Jackson Seacom throws it on net, but it comes off the stick of Robocop. I can't help notice that... The Robocop's just slashing the crap out of anybody that he comes near. Cross-checking or slashing. He needs to calm down. He does. And here comes Seacom. He's battling with Jojo. Seacom to Seacom. Seacom shoots. He scores! Yes, he the brothers Seacom! They come together! Which one got the goal? Uh, Max. <laughs> Max scored. Check this out. Promised a nail biter. 
Nail biter. How's your biohazard cloth going? Tell my wife I love her. I will. <laughs> Did he get his chunk Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Gross. That's why I'm wearing this this windshield. The windshield, gross. Yeah. It's so when I spit hot fire and saliva. Hot sputum. Hot sputum. Gross. Yeah, hot rhymes. Oh no. Tristan Clements is just pushing and pushing and pushing. Ew, ew. Yeah, dig it out, dig it out. Oh. That is enough Liam's seen nonsense. Enough. Liam's seen enough. Name's Niam? Name's seen a laugh. I think I've Did you know that too. neem is a is a chemical that you can put in plants to stop little Yeah, neem little oil. Bugs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's you great for it powdery mildew as well. Powdery mildew, eh? Yeah. Here comes Annie Knight. Oh, Robocop, piss off! Every day is a school day. We're learning something. It is. It... I love it how, like, that's, that's like Annie Knight's second touch of the night and Robocop decides, oh, yeah, I'm just going to strip it off her. Brutal. He's just not allowing... Oh, sorry, Dennis gets around Jojo. Good little move, but it didn't come of anything. As Fiona Buell comes into the corner with Milcom McCurdy. Milcom McCurdy. Milcom. Milk. Does Milk he work in a dairy farm? Milcom McFlurry. Oh, trash man. Got open like a can of trash. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, good job. Good job. Yeah, you hit the trash man button. Tra tra trash Man is Stephen the Trash Man Ward. Oh, okay. It's the official. Yeah, yeah we've timed out. Yeah, we Calm timed down. We, we got this. We got this, We're Cam. getting backseat Here driven Here comes the by Trash Cam. Man. Let's hope it's not a trashy shot. He comes in. Tr gets around. Oh! Oh! He misses completely. He had a wide open cage and he hit the post. And everyone is giving it to him, including Paulie Sports Campbell. No, Steve Horvath, who throws his glove at him. If this was the Victorian era, he would be challenged to a duel to the death. But he's not, because we're in 2024, and we don't have those laws anymore. Stephen, we still love you. Stephen, that was a terrible shot. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Suck shit. <laughs> Zara Dennis throws it on net, but it goes wide. Jojo Spinozzi carrying it out. He's got pressure from Zara Dennis and Fiona Buell. He was sandwiched right between the it. pinheads. He carries it all the way, coast to coast, drops it. The, m oh. the Maitlands were having a conference about who was going to pick up the puck. They needed to pass an accord and get a second yeah, on the motion. Steven. Here comes the trash man. Tries to weave it Steven through all that. All that kicks it away. <laughs> Steven on Steven. In the words of that guy from that movie. Oh, good. good Joey, job, Joe that guy. was a sarcastic goal. Is that is that his third? That's his third. Is that his third? That's three. And Cullen, don't you worry, folks. We are jotting down. We're all numbers. over it. We know what's going on. This isn't our first radio. It's it, not even it a radio. Be. Have you been to the rodeo? I've been to the Myrtleford rodeo. Oh. It happens on Boxing Day every year in uh, Myrtleford. I went to the one in Mount Eliza. Oh. No, yeah, yeah. Who would have thought that the Myrtleford Rodeo happens in Myrtleford? I thought it happened in, in Cairns. <laughs> Keep going, Richard. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, they've got stuff there. Shame about the animal cruelty. But I mean, I, d I don't go for ah! the animal. Oh, Tommy Teabag. Hey. How many is that? Steep oh, that third. English breakfast perfectly. Steeped it. So it's 13.10. Holy dooly. We... Assisted by sports. Man, sports is crushing it this game. We got double digits, both teams. We do have double digits, both teams! Yeah! Yes! Queen, get it! Yes! Y'all, I called it. Robocop. Oh! Christopher oh, Robin. Christopher Robin stripped on the tumble. blue line. He heard about his buddy Eeyore being blue. <laughs> and he, he, in solidarity, he tripped on the blue line. Yep. That's very kind, Christopher Here's the Robin. cull dog. <laughs> Throws it up. Oh, sports is having none of it. Got past the stick of Christopher oh, Robinson. Passes it back. Cats. 
Katz gets it across to Kat Johnny Pockets, who overstates oh. it. And here comes Christopher Robinson. Pockets is feeling quite vexed. Yeah. I, I mean, you would be. Yeah. But he's doing great. <coughs> Let's go, Katz. Katz. Katz is on a bit of a breakaway. He's got Robocop to deal with. And the slash of Tristan Clements. He's putting on a Broadway show. Oh, he's gone around. Oh, he tried to get around the, the pads. Let's here try again. again. Tommy Blackwell had to pass that one because uh, he can't score anymore. One of the weird rules and weird and wonderful rules we have if, is that if you score three goals in a game, you can't score anymore. You have to... Oh, Jakey Boy Adamson with the one-timer. Hit the side of the post. Uh, side of the cage. That one. Side of the goals. The side of the thing. Yeah, the side of the thing. you got to get it in the front of the thing. Let's go. Oh. oh Tristan Clements with the uh, stick lift there on Jakey Boy Adamson. Throwing it into the slot was Paulie Sports Campbell, but nobody there to receive it. We're playing Katz past the parcel. Katz is getting pushed around. It's quite the screen there. Anything yeah, he's, he's getting pushed around like the pass the parcel himself. No, it's it's Tristan oh. it's Tristan Clements and Dave Walters that are just shoving and pushing. Walters, this is your last. Jakey warning. boy slaps it. Oh, almost went inside the leg of. Oh, good deflection from Jakey boy. Gorge. That's it. Game over. Oh, Devo. That's the end of the game, guys. Pinheads lose to the Maitlands, thirteen to ten. Everybody gave a hundred percent. 110% in fact, Gord. And, uh, well, the Maitlands gave 130% because they scored 13 goals. <laughs> and the Pinheads only gave 100. Our international listeners, thank you for being with us this evening. Special thanks to Elise in Vancouver. George, Christian jo and Nat in Los Angeles. No, Las Vegas. Mm, yeah, Las Vegas. Yeah, and, yeah. And yeah. all the other people listening in. That was a good game. It's been fantastic. Nos. Um, and George wants to see Dave Walters going to the tribunal. We'll see what we can do. Um, look, I, I don't know. I don't know. We haven't had a tribunal hearing since the infamous um, ward slashing incident. Uh, my client stands by his... He's innocent. He's innocent, yeah. Well, unfortunately, he was found guilty in a court of law. And by court of law, I mean the KSL tribunal. Fully corrupt. Um, look, I saw the evidence. Tribunal. I saw the evidence. Like, I saw video footage of him doing it. So, Look, let's not get into this now. Anyway. Because it's been a 